In The Music Never Stopped, the uh, amnesic character, uh, Gabriel, is based on my patient Greg, whom I wrote about 20 years ago in The Last Hippie. In 1977, Greg had come to one of the hospitals where I work. He was a 25-year-old um, with profound memory and other problems. And a rather strange and tragic story. Um, he'd been very much part of the flower power hippie generation in the mid and late 60s. He'd been heavily into drugs, but he was really looking for a movement and a, a structure and a leader of some sort. And he found this in the Hare Krishna movement and the Swami Bhakti Vedanta on Second Avenue. He had started to complain that of not seeing properly, that his vision was becoming dim. But this was given a spiritual explanation. It was said that the that he was now an illuminate, that he saw things by an inner light, and that his inwardness and spirituality uh, so dominated him uh, as to as to make the outer world insignificant. His parents had been rather out of the picture. Uh, since uh, Greg joined the movement. Um, but they were sent short reports, and these short reports started to alarm them. And finally, in 1975, his father was in poor health then, they asked uh, if they could come and visit. It was thought that otherwise Greg's father might die without ever having seen his, his boy again. When they went down to the temple, there they were horrified. Um, their lean, intelligent son had become bland, indifferent, had lost all his facial hair, could not be engaged in any serious conversation, uh, seemed mentally and emotionally blank, and blind. He was totally blind. Um, it's really incredible that things could go so far. Brain imaging showed a huge tumor uh, extending into the frontal lobes of his brain and back to the temporal lobes, and in particular, knocking out the memory systems of the brain and some of the arousal and emotional systems. This was a benign tumor, and it was removed, but it had done its damage. And when Greg then came into our hospital in 77. He, um, uh, he had a profound amnesia. Um, he remembered things in detail until about 1966, uh, and then rather vaguely between 66 to 68 or 69. Uh, things from 1970 onwards, he he had no knowledge of. When I first saw him, I was struck by, not only by what he was missing, but what he had. He had a guitar in his room, there were piles of music, and there were piles of records, um, uh, mostly of Grateful Dead music, but other music um, through the 1960s. Uh, Greg had been very, very musical himself liked to improvise on his guitar and uh, had a huge repertoire of songs. Um, he remembered all the early songs, the songs he himself had sung, and he came alive. He became animated and smiled uh, uh, when, when he sang or when he played the guitar. Um, there was really an, an amazing sort of transformation from the 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 blank, bland, uh, blind, sort of uh, inert, staring mass he was to um, you know to a to a vivid musician and singer.